Hi and welcome to another card making video. Today I'm going to play with some dice from Bibi's Butterflies new collection. Here is one of the sets where you get many different sizes of butterflies and I will also play with the Peach Blossoms die set by Spellbinders that gives beautiful flowers. I'm going to start by making the flowers and this die gives you many petals. With one passing you can put together three flowers so you can fill up your branch. For creating my flowers I will be using the Oriental Collection paper by Dress My Craft. This is a paper made especially for creating flowers and it is really difficult to tear. Plus it hardens up if you dip it in water. So I'm going to do a technique that I did share a couple of weeks ago for creating flowers. After die cutting all the petals that I need, I'm going to ink up the center of the flowers. For that I'm just using a very small blending brush since I want to concentrate the color only at the center of the petals. I am using archival ink since this is permanent, which is really important for the technique since I am going to apply water on all those petals. You can dip them in a bowl of water if you like and let those fibers of the paper soften up or you can spray water just like I did here, but I did spray generously. I'm using my tool in one tool and uh, I'm going to add some dimension on the petals. I'm being very careful since this is a very delicate flower. However, you can see just because I did use this uh, specialty paper, I have no issues tearing that paper. For the leaves I just cut them out from a green colored cardstock and now I'm just adding a groove line at the center of the leaves. This is a five petal flower so all you have to do is to stick the two petals with the three petals. Just overlap them making sure that you offset the petals and you will end up with a little flower. And of course I will repeat the same process to put all the flowers together. In this set there are dies that you can cut out for the centers of the flowers or the base of the flowers. However, I'm not going for a super dimensional flower here, so I won't be using those. Make sure to check out the video on Spellbinders how you can make these flowers really dimensional. For the centers of my flowers I'm just going to use pearls later on. Here all I'm doing is inking up those leaves just a touch in one side. I didn't want to have that flat color. And then all you have to do is to just stick those flowers on top of your branch. I'm going to dress it up a little bit more by sticking down the leaves as well. And of course it's up to you on how many flowers you want to add on top of your branch and how many leaves. Just make it your own. So here is how my branch is looking at the moment. I haven't added any centers for now, but I'm going to go ahead and create a butterfly. Now this is from Bibi's Butterflies collection. I'm using the two smaller sizes of butterflies and I'm going to ink up one of the butterflies with a yellow and a touch of orange at the center. And then I did die cut the tiniest of the butterflies out of vellum. By the way, since I do get a lot of questions about those sponge dabbers, this is a set that you get as it is. Uh, the case as well as the 40 sponge dabbers. I do have two of them. One that I use only with my Distress Oxides and another one that I use with Hybrid Inks or any other type of inks. Now I'm going to embellish my butterfly by sticking the Vellum Tinier Butterfly on top so this way I create some layers. Notice that I added glue only at the center. And then on top of that I'm going to stick the body of the butterfly. I did go ahead and create using the same technique one more branch. This one is smaller. It does have only two flowers on top. And now I'm going to create a card that is butterfly shaped. These are the two dies from Bibi's Butterflies set that is perfect for creating a shaped card. Just grab a cardstock, fold it in half and then place the largest of the butterflies on top making sure that the top of the butterfly is offset a little bit up there at the top where the fold is. I'm using some low tack tape just to make sure that nothing is going to move on me as I run it through my die cutting machine. 
And here is what you get. Now, there are many different ways on how you can use this die to create a butterfly shaped card. On this method, you don't have to use glue because everything is connected up at the top. However, the top is kind of flat up at the corner. It doesn't follow completely the curve of the butterfly. If that bothers you in this method, you can definitely cut out one more butterfly and stick it on top to get that curve. Now I'm going to use the smaller one to cut out another butterfly and I will ink it up with blue. Since I have a big real estate to cover, I'm using a bigger blending brush and I'm not going for the perfect blending. Notice that I don't mind if I have some splotches, this is going to be the sky and having lighter and darker areas on your sky really enhances that look. I do have foam tape at the back of the blue butterfly, I'm going to stick it on top of my card. And of course keep in mind that this is a really special card, it's a card that you make for someone that you really care about. It takes some effort to put together and it's definitely not one that you must produce. At this stage I thought that I needed one more butterfly, just to make it look more interesting I went for the smallest of the sizes, so again I followed the same color scheme as the other one. The base is made out of cardstock that I inked up with yellow, the top layer is made out of vellum and then of course on top of that I stick the body of the butterfly. And I'm going for a little scene on this butterfly shaped card, so I did already cut out some clouds that I'm sticking down. And then I'm going to dress up my butterfly by using the branches as well as the butterflies. If you find this project very involved and you want to check out some quick and simple cards that are perfect for mass producing, make sure to check out the video that I posted yesterday. Also, if you do enjoy my videos, don't forget to like as well as leave me a comment. These are just a few ways to support the channel if you do enjoy it. And now let's work on the center of the flowers. For that I'm going with white pearls. And I was planning to use the yellow pearls for the centers, but since I already had yellow on my butterflies, I thought it was too much, so I went with the white pearls. For my sentiment, I went with You Are Amazing that I already stamped and die cut with a banner die. However, I want to have that curve of the butterfly at the edge. That's why I'm going to run it through one more time through my die cutting machine. And by the way, this is the exact same technique that I did for the clouds. I do have foam tape at the back of my sentiment. I'm going to stick it in place and call this card done. Absolutely gorgeous. It smells like spring and it goes to someone very special. So I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired. Just like always, down below in the description area you will find links to everything I used. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I hope you all have a lovely weekend.